a super fun video for you guys today. But before we get into the tutorials, I need to tell you about a little teeny tiny secret that I have been keeping from you guys. And that is, this is not all my hair. That's right, I have been using Irresistible Me hair extensions. And basically, I will show you, I got the clip-ins because I am, I have a lot of hair, obviously it's very long, but it is thinning. As I've gotten older, it has started thinning out also due to like some health and hormone issues. But, so I wanted something to make it look super thick and luscious without a trip to the salon, which I couldn't do right now anyways, without a ton of money. And so, Irresistible Me is the way that I went. So here is the extension itself. So let me show you how easy these are to install or put in. Basically, I go right at my temples and I go all the way around the crown of my head, pin this up, and then take my extensions. And I have already put in like some dry shampoo just to give my hair a little bit of grit because I have such thin hair there's not a lot for the little clips to hold on to but you just find that part slide in the clips and then there's one for the sides like so let down your top hair and voila instant magical thick hair and like i said the well, the thing i love the most about that is look at the color match i mean you really cannot tell the difference between my hair and the extension at all at all and when you look in the back it's completely all covered up and no one would be the wiser and look how thick this ponytail ends up being so, so cute. So without further ado, let's get to the tutorials and I can show you how to make these headbands. So our materials for the padded headband are as follows, a lot of really random stuff, but you need your scrap of fabric. This is going to be cut to uh, three inches wide by at least 18 inches long. You will need batting. And the batting strips should be cut into either one inch strips all the way down, or you can even taper them to half an inch like I've done here. And I have five of these strips. You will need scissors. You will need sewing pins, a stapler, some uh, tape. Uh, you'll also need either grain ribbon of some kind or twill tape or something to like tape off or to uh, close up the ends of your uh, headband. You'll also need some kind of like really strong pliers, some temporary adhesive or any kind of spray adhesive. You'll need a glue gun and then some kind of clip. So I have these office clips, but also pant hangers work really well too. The first couple of steps are as follows. You need to take your fabric, fold it over right sides together, and you're gonna sew a quarter inch seam all along this long edge. You're also gonna take your headband the temporary adhesive and your strips of batting, and you're gonna spray the batting and then apply it to the headband. I like to do it from the center out. So imagine there's spray adhesive on this, and then you place your headband in the center like so, and then roll out to the edges, and you'll notice that when it's uh, got the glue on there, it'll stick to the edges. So, okay, at this point you have all of your batting on your headband. And if your uh, batting is hanging over the edge, like you can see, it's not super flush. Take some scissors and just trim that down so that it's flush with the edge of the headband. And you also have your strip of fabric. I have sewn it here um, at a quarter inch seam allowance down the length of it and I have pressed it of the seams all to one side and then the seam down the center of the strip. 
I also have this wrong side out still. There's my seam allowances. I have not turned this yet. And to make life a little bit easier, I made this little tube of plastic out of, um, out of a freezer bag. It's definitely not mandatory. You don't absolutely have to have this in order for it to work. Um, but it does help uh, get your fabric up and over the, um, the headband. So I'm just pushing the batting through this while I feed the plastic onto the headband. Like I said, not mandatory because it's a little bit wasteful, <laughs> um, but it does help. So just keep that in mind. Okay, and it doesn't even have to go all the way over, just enough to get it over the big hump here. Okay, so now take your tube turner, put it through the tube like so. And then the tube turner is gonna have this little hook on the end. You really want to uh, take extra care to make sure that that hook is firmly hooked onto the end of your tube. Otherwise it will come undone and you will have to start over. So get that going and then go ahead and pull some of the ends through and you'll see you'll start to make, you know, an inverted tube. Okay, now put the tube onto the headband with the seam down the inside. So like this. Firmly hold on to the end of your tube turner and start to work that fabric up and over the end of your headband. I like to try and get as much of the fabric onto the headband as I can so that I can let go of the turner because this is the this is the real crux of the operation here. Just pull this out and now you've got something firm to hold on to with your own fingers. Um, and you don't have to worry about the tool coming undone. Okay, so now we're gonna work this fabric over the headband. You can use your little pliers to kind of push the batting in while you pinch the fabric up and over the headband. This takes some time. It's definitely not, you know, a quick and easy little situation, but I mean, it is easy, it's just not super fast. All right, and eventually you will get it all the way over like so. And this is where it's really helpful to have the plastic on because you can kind of uh, position that seam right down the center like you want. And you can also pull it so that it is even on both sides. So you have a, a good amount hanging off of both sides and the seam is in the middle. Now you wanna try and find that plastic up in there. Use your pliers to push the headband into the tube while you kind of work the plastic out, like so. Okay, so now for the ends, we will need our stapler and our, I'm gonna use twill tape for mine. And you're also gonna need your hanger and your glue gun at this point. We are gonna take the end of the headband and turn in the edges. Because it's a tapered plastic headband, the fabric is going to be a little bit wider down here than it is in the center. So turn it in on itself like so. Take a pin and put the pin around the end of the headband. So the end of my plastic headband is right in line with this uh, pin. All right, now I'm gonna take the stapler and reinforce what I've done here on the end, stapling this uh, in place and staple through all the layers. This is just some regular stapler, nothing high tech or fancy or heavy duty or anything. Okay, so now we have that going through like so. We can remove the pins now. 
because the staples are holding it in place. And now we're going to finish off these raw edges. So I'm going to turn mine to the inside like so. I'm going to place a dollop of hot glue right here, fold this in, hold it in place just until it sets, and then I'm going to use the hanger or the um, office clips to uh, hold it in place for me. All right, and once you've left the ends to set for a little bit, you can remove your clips and you'll see that it will be held in place nicely. If it's gonna bother you to have the staples, go ahead and remove those, but I just, I leave them in. It doesn't bother me. Um, I've cut my uh, twill tape to four inches long and I'm going to, we're gonna wrap the twill tape around the end here to cover up these raw edges. So you need another dollop of hot glue Get it in the position that you want, and then I will clip this again, like so. Okay, and again, after that has set for a minute, you can remove the clips. We are gonna place a dollop of glue on the underneath again, so. And you want to wrap this around one time as tightly as you possibly can, and then clip it again. Be sure to get glue all over your fingernails. That's really helpful. <laughs> and then clip it like so. And just let the extra hang off. We'll trim that here in a second. Okay, and after another minute, you can release your clips like so and trim off any excess of this twill tape. Like so. So now you're at the ends of your headband are fully encased and will be super comfortable whenever you wear it and there won't be any raw edges and fraying or anything like that. But this is our padded headband. All right, so I know that those are so great and so cool. I love seeing when you guys attempt or complete <laughs> a DIY that you've learned here on the channel. So please tag me and let me know whenever you have um, done one and you're posting it. I'd love to see it. Uh, but like I said, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.